Bowstrike guys, hey, thanks for dropping by. Finally, the Pale Man has come back to Canada. Well, actually, no, I had to order this from Big Bad Toy Store. NECA's signature line of Benicio Del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth action figures. Now, there's three in this line. There's the Pale Man, there's the Fawn, and then there's Ophelia. Now, the Pale Man's been out, and it was the first one released, and I think it's been out for over six months. But for some reason, it didn't reach Vancouver. So, um, just recently, I decided to pick up this three-pack uh, vintage series, uh, Skiff Guards, from Big Bad Toy Store. And I, I bit the bullet and said, you know what, I'm going to buy this also um from big bad toy store and i really don't like buying NECA figures online um, i like to buy them at a store go through them because the paint out sometimes they're all over the place and i just i despise ordering a figure online and getting it back opening it up and there's just something off about it not going to linger too much on the packaging but your action figure comes in a beautiful box um, great illustration in the front of the Pale Man. And it's a deep box, actually. Look at this. And the reason for that is the chair that it comes with. And in the back, we have um, a collection of uh, pictures from the other two figures in the series. Now, I do have this one. I don't have this one. And this is from Devil's Backbone, I think. It's a movie that I have not watched. Uh, maybe I'll get to it some other time. And uh, there's a side. Let's open this thing up. Yes! No! What is that mark on his head? Damn it. Okay, let's take him out of this packaging. Hey, what's this? Wow. Take some time to appreciate this illustration, folks. Something I did for you guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you, Bo Shrek. Thumbs up, Bo Shrek. That's me. Take some time to appreciate this illustration I did for you guys. Enjoy it. Okay, I want to know if this is a mark or just something on this thing. It's a mark. Damn it. So I took the figure out and uh, looked at this head over here and it was the mark that seemed to have come off. It's still there's still a little bit of residue left, but I just noticed this on the side. Two accessories it comes with this beautiful chair and a plate with two eyes. Let's go ahead and have a closer look. Here's the plate. It kind of reminds me of uh, maybe a Muppet or a Sesame Street side character doing some singing. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, not sure how anybody can complain about this chair it's it's um it's a piece of art it is really nice well done NECA on this piece amazing let's get a little bit closer and look at the uh, details of the sculpt and paint um head looks great and it's really good um there's his mouth i don't know if i can get that close to it but um there folks I mean aside from that little mark over there what are you gonna do love the color that pale texture and um, skin color chest and torso area I really like this that just works You know, the paint is everywhere where it should be, aside from that. But, um, yeah, just to highlight the details of the, of the skin, um, the darker areas, the accents, it's it's all there. I could do a good job with this figure. Now let's turn him around. Saggy bum. All right, who did it better, guys? Me, Bo, or NECA? I'm not going to linger too much on articulation, too, but um, here he is sitting down. 
on his chair. That side angle. Here's an angle where he's uh, checking himself out. You know, the articulation on this figure is suitable for something. Here, let me play it for you. There's another pose. Side profile. You guys want to see some creativity? Look at that. You gonna eat that? Huh? gonna eat that well that's it guys um i hope you enjoyed my unboxing and me just basically having fun with a pill man Ooh. um uh that's it so uh please like subscribe and we will see you next time